Welcome! The following video will demonstrate how to program a 2GIG takeover module into a 2GIG GC2 panel. The takeover module contains 8 terminal inputs, which allow you to convert 8 zones from wired to wireless. Each of the 8 inputs should be programmed as separate zones on the panel. To program one of the takeover module's inputs into a security zone, you will first need to access the installer toolbox. Press the 2GIG logo on your GC2 panel screen. Enter the installer code. The default installer code for the GC2 is 1, 5, 6, 1. You are now in the installer toolbox. To access zone programming, press System Configuration. You'll see Q1 Select RF Sensor Number displayed in the upper ribbon of the screen. System configuration is navigated via questions and sub-questions. Wireless zones are programmed in Q1, so we are already on the correct question for wireless devices. First, you will decide which zone number to assign to the takeover module input you are currently programming. Note, the words sensor and zone are interchangeable. In this training, we will use the term zone number. By default, we are already on the correct sub-question to select the zone number. The white field is called the answer box. 01 will display in the answer box by default, which means we have selected zone number 1. If you would like to change the zone number, press the right arrow to change the zone number, or type the desired number in using the number keys on screen. You will see the new selection appear in the answer box. Once the desired zone number displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the sensor type. There are two ways to change the sensor type. Option 1. Press the right arrow to scroll through the various sensor types. Option 2. Use the on-screen keypad to type in the two-digit code for the desired sensor type. Select the sensor type that corresponds to the hardwired device you are converting. For example, choose 01, Exit Entry 1, if you are converting a hardwired door contact. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the Equipment Code. Press the right arrow until 2GIG Takeover Module displays in the answer box. You can also type 0, 8, 7, 3 to select this option. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, input the serial number for the takeover module. You will find the serial number inside the takeover module. The serial number will contain seven digits and end with one. Use the on-screen keypad to type the first six digits of the serial number. Then, type the input number you are currently programming. In this example, we are programming input 2 on the takeover module, so we will type 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 9, which are the first six digits of the serial number, and then 2, which is the input number. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the equipment age. It is recommended to program input terminal 1 as new and input terminals 2 through 8 as existing. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, select the loop number. The takeover module uses loop number 1, so we can leave the default option as is. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Choose whether to enable or disable the dialer delay. The dialer delay is used to prevent false alarms. To enable the dialer delay, use the right arrow to select option 1. To disable the dialer delay, leave option 0 disabled. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, add the voice descriptors. Press Insert. The word Abort will automatically appear in the answer box. Change the word by either using the right and left arrow buttons, or by typing the word's three-digit code using the keyboard. For a list of all voice descriptors and their associated codes, see the Installation and Programming Guide. To add another word, press Insert again, and repeat the steps just discussed. You can add up to five words. 
Once the desired word or words displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, choose whether or not to send reports to the central monitoring station. If you would like reports related to the takeover module to be sent to the central station, select One Enabled. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, decide whether or not you want the panel to monitor supervisory signals of the takeover module, such as low battery, tamper, and more. Select One Enabled to activate this feature. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Lastly, the panel can be made to enunciate sensor names by selecting a chime. Use the right arrow to scroll through the list of chime options. Once the desired option displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the summary page. Review the summary page to ensure all information is correct. Review all answers. If you need to edit any of the information, press Edit Current. To exit programming mode and save your changes, press Skip. Then press End. The option to save changes is selected by default. Finally, press Exit. The system will automatically save the new information and the panel will reboot. The 2GIG takeover module is now programmed into the 2GIG GC2 panel. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.